You're the head coach of the Timberwolves now. Do you like to boss people around? <laughs> <laughs> when the time is right, you do like to boss people around, but for the most part, I don't. If you do, who do you go after the most? Who do I go after the most? Oof, I'd say uh, I got a couple guys on staff who I've known for a long time, who I'd say I consider friends too. Um, I boss them around, but then there's somebody in our PR department named Aaron Freeman that I love to boss him around too. He's right there. He is right there. Yes, <laughs> what is it actually like to be in charge and make the rules, decisions? Yeah, it's a job that doesn't feel like a job. The big reason for that is that I grew up, you know, how old are you? Uh, 11. 11. I was 11 when I moved to, moved to Minnesota. Really? So, yeah, so I grew I grew up here. And uh, I love the Twins. I love the Vikings. I love the Lynx. I love the Wild. I love the Gophers. Play basketball in University of Minnesota. So I, I'm, I'm a Minnesota diehard through and through. And for that reason, this job feels very special. So the responsibilities are responsibilities, but they're also enjoyable, too. When you were 11 years old, your dad was in his second or third year coaching the Wolves. My dad uses a lot of swear words when he gets mad. Did your dad ever? <laughs> oh, yeah. My dad definitely, he definitely used some swear words. But my mom had a rule that he couldn't swear in the house. So that was, that was the rule, because we'd see it at games, or I'd see it at practice, so she didn't want me to hear it all the time. Did you want to do whatever? Did you ever want? Uh, yeah, yeah, there was, there was a few times I think I, I learned some words, but I learned those words more in the training room from former uh, players hearing them talk, and uh, I learned pretty quickly. Um, I think it was some soap that I can't be saying those. <laughs> And your wife had a baby over the summer. Yep. I see a lot of adults do a baby talk voice. Do you have a baby talk voice? Oh, yeah. Are you, you going to ask me to do it now? Yeah, I do it, do it. All right, so should we say, because he, he's a little guy, so yeah. he's only three and a half months now, so he doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't sit up quite yet. But my baby talk voice would be, hi, Lukey. Hi, buddy. How's it going, bud? How is that? Is that good? It's not too good. bad. It's, it's not like it's baby good. talk, yeah. but that's how I talk to him. Oh, yeah. It's good. Like, I would only do that for you. Okay. Nobody else. Thank you. You do one now. Come okay. on. Okay. Well, if I... Here, I'm going to pass my... Here, let me hold your card. Okay, thank you. Pass Lucas over to you. Oh, how you doing, buddy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Not that's perfect. really good. You have three sisters. I have a sister. When you were a kid, were there ponytail holders and makeup all over the house? Oh, yeah. All, all the time. And when you, when you get married, you find, you find some of those, too. What's the best part of having a sister? Or what is something I will appreciate when I having a sister when I'm an adult? Because she kind of bugs me right now. How old is she? Uh, she's nine. She's nine? Yeah. All right, so you guys are close in age. So as, as she gets older, she's going to help you be able to treat women better. She'll be able to give you different insight to, you know, dealing with different individuals and from a, from a female perspective, um, it's something that's very, very, uh, that's very important. It must be really tough to lose games. Do you ever get annoyed with re reporters when they have to ask you questions after a loss? You know, you, you do, but you don't, because you understand that reporters have a job. I'm thinking about Marnie, Marnie Gellner. Yeah. You know, when not she asks questions she's after the game. She's not very good? No. Yeah, you're, you're, you're doing a lot better. But whenever, whenever they, reporters ask questions, um, you know, you understand that everybody has a job to do. You know, me, coach a basketball team, reporters, they have to ask questions as well as, you know, try to um, see reason why you might have made certain decisions. So, for that reason, I respect it. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then, Marnie still does a great job. Oh, yeah. So, we'll make sure, right. make sure everybody knows that. Okay. You know, we love her. <laughs> thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Thank you. You did a great job. Thanks.